Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Edgy by, uh... I don't know how to say that name. Let's, uh, let's, let's just check out Edgy. <laughs> right, so... Oh my goodness, my game feels a bit laggy for some reason. That... Is it? My game is not normally laggy. I'm not... doing anything different than I normally am. I don't think. Is it just because of the size of this map or something? I don't know. Anyway. We have a auto-respawning laser cube dropping over and over again. Oh, look at this! This is nice. I like this. This looks neat. Well, what the? Hang on a sec. Did you hear that? I heard the music for a second there. I heard, like, the, the music it plays when you're going fast. Uh, maybe- maybe by walking along the wall, I went just fast enough to trigger the- the fast music. Anyway, I can't do anything about that cube right now. <laughs> this disables that fizzler. Let's do that if we wanted to. There is a fizzler here. Don't wanna walk into that. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of a ledge up there. Ah, yes, here we go. Oh, that gives me more than enough height, thank you, because I forgot to jump. I honestly did forget to jump. Looks like that's a spot for us to put a funnel, if I had to guess. Then how would we get the cube? Ah, oh, and I might have might have just placed the wrong portal. We can always try again though. Let's try it this way instead. This should suffice, I believe. I'll go ahead and save, just in case. Oh, I kinda... <laughs> from here it looked like there's a, a pedestal button- I mean, a, a button here. Kinda like that one. Similar texture. Different, of course, but similar. This ant line from that Q button goes all the way to... the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. And then we have... an area back there. Interesting. And a portal surface here. Uh-huh. Ah, here's how we can get the cube. Yes, well that would make sense now, wouldn't it? We can even grab it from right above our heads. Let's go ahead and speed up the game a little bit, just to save some time. There we go. Right. Uh... Is there anything we can portal to in here? Doesn't look like it. No, I don't see any portal surfaces in there. Well, we might as well start putting cubes on buttons, right? How does one... Square. Square reverses the funnel. So whenever we find square... That's how we can reverse the... the you know what I mean. Well, let's try putting the cube on this button first and see if that helps us at all. Ah, can't, of course I can't reach the cube from down here. Right, so that turns that off. That's at least one thorn out of our side. Let's go, let's go exploring over here real quick. Whee! There's the music I was talking about. Right, so we have a laser that we cannot use without a laser cube. And we have a room back here that we can't really access right now. At least I don't think we can, right? Yeah, not unless we make the funnel go forward. Although actually I suppose if we were to Oh, that is why did I shoot that portal? That is exactly the wrong portal. Input output. As I've been telling knock all these years. Well, months, really. What is this for? Just to get us back in the funnel? Okay. Yeah, because I guess you can't jump into it. Ah, we'll want to push ourselves with the funnel to there, I believe. Wait, that's square, that's... What? Oh no, there's a light bridge, so we need X to activate square. Okay. So that- that is for the funnel. I wonder if it's on a timer. It is on a timer! We can see the timer signage there. Okay. Also, I forgot to say that this map was requested by Nui Harim. 
Right, so now we can get back here, but it doesn't do us much good. This is the break room that I mentioned earlier. But I won't tell you about the time I saw a deer again, that was a lie. There's a portal surface here, which is nice and convenient, I guess. Right, so now let's see if we can figure out how to activate that. Back we go, back from whence we came. <laughs> oh, come on, let me out, please, thank you. So that... Oh, there it is, so that activates the light bridge. Right. I think it's pretty clear what we have to do, in that case. Let's go ahead and... at least make some attempt to set some stuff up here. Ha! That was weird, but this is the shell- the shell model. Like, does that thing where sometimes if you shoot a portal underneath yourself, your character model is visible for some reason. Also, I wonder... I don't think this will actually work at all. Unless we turn the portal around, then it might. Hey, that might actually work. I don't think it's intended, though. So we can try it. Cause why not, right? For science. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is we can't actually get to the light bridge in this state, so... We do have to do the whole fling maneuver. And I need to put the cube at this surface, because this is the only surface we will have visible if done correctly, I believe. There we go. Place green portal there. And then we walk out here and place black portal there. There we go. Now we've done it. How long is this timer, though, and what exactly do I need to use it for? Mmm. So we want to push the cube against that button with the funnel. I sure hope this timer is 30 seconds, because I don't think I can figure out what to do in any less time. And I think 30 seconds is the maximum in Puzzle Maker. Maybe B-Mod sets a higher maximum, but, uh, I don't think you can. Maybe. I don't know. I know that in B-Mod, the default timer is 1 second, and if you turn it up to 2 seconds, you can't turn it back down to 1. If you turn it up to 3 seconds, you can't turn it back down to 2. Because the minimum is not defined in the game files the same way, I don't think. How much time do I have to do this? Oh man, that is- that is a lot less than 30 seconds, <laughs> let me tell you. That is more like 15 seconds or so. 20 seconds, maybe? Does not feel like 30 seconds to me, though. So during that time, we need to place the portal there. We also need to get the cube into... the funnel. We can place the portal under the cube, that might work. I think... I sort of see what I have to do, but not really. Because we have to place a portal onto that, which... but there's this fizzler is an issue. And, like, we can lock ourselves into the funnel if we want to. But... Maybe that ledge is to catch the cube, like we can portal underneath the cube... and land it on the ledge and then push it with the funnel, but then... And the problem is I would be in there, and I need to be able to go... ...over here, and I don't think... I don't think that's permanent. I guess we could try. It's worth a shot. I have to rush to do all this, though. Oh crap, right, that turns off the light bridge. I did not think that through. Ha 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 ha
Is that a picture of PewDiePie? I don't know. I'm not good with celebrities, okay? Huh. supposed to do this? Maybe now that I've gotten over here... Well, no, because I still need the light bridge. I need the light bridge for this little segment right here. Like, I was gonna say maybe I can move my portals about, but I am not free to move about the cabin. I am not free to move about the cabin. Unless I want to move my green portal there, using the funnel, and then angle... the cube... How would I do that, though? Cause now I can't touch the cube in here. Oh, yes I can, it's got grating! Oh, I think that's exactly what I have to do. Okay. I see... Let me- let me put my black portal back first. So that I can press the button. It's a multi-step process. Let me go show you how it works. Let me just speed this up. There we go. So now we just wait for the funnel to unreverse. I mean, to, to reverse. There we go. And now we can head on back from whence we came. This makes a lot more sense. That's really clever, I like that. Because now we have a portal directly across from the button, already in position. As you would say, portal management. And now... Yes, exactly what we have to do, if I can get this to work. A little bit finicky, slightly finicky, but there you have it. Nice. Alright, so... Now... I think I see what I must do. Oh, come on. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this isn't so straightforward as I thought. Cause it's a long walk to get over here. And I definitely need to be on this side when I want to go through that. Let's try this again. I don't think I have enough time to do this the way I want to do it though. I think this is an intentionally long walk. Hmm. That is not enough time. I'm not fast enough with the mouse to do what I want to do. Oh 
wait, it doesn't matter because as long- the cube auto-respawns. Right, okay. Doesn't matter. Cube auto-respawns. I'm good. I'm all good. Come on. Yes, don't trap me. Did it! Did it. There we go, I had enough time. Right, and this is our escape route. I suppose this is more useful of a portal surface than any other. What's through here? Ah, it's this area. Oh dear. This is frightening. I hope I don't need the laser cube again. I'm not sure how I would do that. Oh my gosh, why is there so much walking? Oh. What turns off? What was the signage on this fizzler again? It doesn't have signage. Does it never turn off? Oh, you know what? I see what I must do, and Rector Rocks does not approve. Alright, that's okay, we can retry. There we go. Interesting. There's the exit. How do we get there? Oh no, we do need the laser cube. That just goes to the... the laser receiver though, doesn't it? What is this about? What is this? I don't know what that is. But yeah, that ant line... ...just goes to here, though. Why would I want this? I guess as a fling location? This scissor, does it ever turn off? Do we have any portal surfaces in here? I think the only ones we have are the ones on the floor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just those, right. Well, I can get the laser cube in here, so that's at least something. I think I know what to do. Yeah, what I think we have to do... Okay, let me just clear my portals real quick. It'll be easier. I- I placed the wrong portal in advance. Okay, come on. There we go. I'm gonna place... this first. There we go. I think that should've worked. Hey! Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. That's clever. I like that. Now I have to do it with my own body. Ooh. Interesting. At least there's a portal surface in here and some grating, so we might be able to get the cube out at some future point. Yes. Ha 
<laughs> right, we can't jump up over that. Here's the exit. Ah, uh, okay. This is quite simple, actually, now. This- this last part, I mean, is quite simple, but not the whole puzzle. The whole puzzle was good. I like that. Yes. Nice puzzle, I really like that. Very interesting use of elements. Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!